The Hmong believe that certain people are called to become shamans, a spiritual leader and healer. Shamans help people with depression, mental illness, and dealing with lost spirits. The Hmong believe that everyone has three souls and it is possible for them to lose one of them. Families contact the shaman if they are unable to recover the soul on their own. The shaman performs a ceremony so that the person can journey into the spirit world, find the soul, and bring it back. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm dancing. I don't think that's what dancing look like. <laughs> Take a look at this next piece where we learn about the traditional Hmong dancing. Well, all right then. Maybe I can pick up a few new moves. You ain't never lied. The Hmong people of America have been living here for many generations. In keeping their culture alive, they do various cultural activities together. One of these activities includes dancing. Let's take a closer look at what the meaning behind Hmong dancing really is. The meaning of Hmong dancing is somehow um, showing the culture and the clothes, how decorative Hmong culture could be. It's just like a way of us, you know, showing emotions. If the song is a happy, upbeat song, then, you know, we try to perform it to the best so that, you know, we look like we're happy at performing it. But if it's a sad song, then we try our best to make sure that, you know, we do moves that, like, uh, go with the sad song. It's um, showing off your um, hand movements and your clothing. My, my definition of Hmong dancing is uh, probably just showing the hand movements, expressing what the song means to everybody. Another form of bone dancing, more popular within men and boys, is playing an instrument called the thang, or performing a dance during cultural activities. Thang is an um, instrument that um, uh, our culture use, and it's made of bamboo. It's used for funerals, mostly, because uh, it helps guides the spirit, and then takes the spirit, and then it's a musical instrument that tells a story about the, from the past, how like everything used to be. I like to play it because maybe in the future we might need it. My grandpa and them, they, like, if they pass away, I have to take it and then make it go on forever and then don't lose the culture that we have. Why do you choose the Hmong dance instead of doing any other type of dancing? Because, well, to me, it's like a way to show off the Hmong tradition, you know, to tell, like, show to others that us Hmong people are just as good as other people. By Hmong dancing, it's like keeping my culture alive and showing off other people how unique we are. <laughs> if you put your hands to your heart, you know, towards a song, when the song says it, it's something saying that, you know, the song has something to do with, like, how you feel or, like, how your heart feels, if it's a love song, particularly. If you would want to say, uh, like, water or waterfall, it's just, like, you know, simple waterfall. Like, we just listen to a song and then, like, try to think of moves that would match how the song's going. It depends on the beat, because if it's a sad song, then it'll be like slow hand motions, but if it's like a, a happy and exciting song, it'll be like fast. Like back in Thailand, a lot of people, uh, they farm, you know, because um, when we live in Laos and Thailand, we're mostly farmers. So when there's songs um, talking about back then when we used to live in our country, um, farming will go like something like this. Um, go pick up corn like we're carrying like a little basket in the back and then we'll just go and like pick the corn and put it in there easy expressions like that Some, it's very noticeable too because the song says it already well it depends on the beat if it's like a good beat to like move with then like you could choose it but then if like if you like the words you could dance with it too I think that you know it's nice to do like happy songs so I try to choose songs that are nice and like talks about happy things I choose songs that are like more upbeat so you can move with them because to me slow songs are kind of boring <laughs> so I dance to kind of fast upbeat songs and then we get to show off moves that we created of our own and introduce it to other people so that they know of it and like maybe they like it. <laughs> it shows them how we dance and how we move because sometimes, I mean like not a lot of people know how we dance. 
So I guess it just shows them how we dance and how we move. When the Hmong dancing first started, you know, it wasn't like that, you know, like nobody really knew of it, but you know, as the generations grew, you know, like steps were added on to the dance and now it's like big and everybody sees it and we get to perform it to our best and it's a really good feeling to know that you know you're performing showing what your culture has. Uh, now Lonnie, what are you doing? I'm on dance what it look like I'm doing. No, 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 stop. Stop, stop. You cut it all wrong. You weren't even paying attention. What you talking about, Trisha? Uh, why do I even bother? Uh, stay tuned for a look at an equally interesting but totally different culture. Yeah.